tell your story. Last year, I have been to London alone via backpacker for two weeks. As a student, I went on a pilgrimage to see two of the most famous universities in the world, Oxbridge, Oxford, and Cambridge. When it comes to Cambridge, thanks for Xu Zhi. Yeah, I hold on a romantic fantasy about this place. Yeah, I get a, I read my guidebook carefully and get as more information as I could from the internet. I even draw a map by hand and planned the travel route in advance. I couldn't wait to see this place. At the moment I arrived at Cambridge, I found that everything, everything was the same as I saw. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, the King's College with the gorgeous uh, stand with a glass window. Problem. And Trinity, uh, San Yi Shui, uh, which was the most famous college in Cambridge, which has the outstanding alumni such as uh, New, New, Newton and Bacon and Prince Charles, and that's me and Newton. Okay. <laughs> and the apple tree, which uses apples to hit Newton. Good job. Okay. <laughs> The bridge of sign. <sighs> Marvelous. And uh, the St. John's College, or you can call it wedding cake. Okay, like a wedding cake. And uh, the most important, the bridge and the river came. Okay? Cambridge was as beautiful as I imagined. Or I could say it was as perfect as the photos in my guidebook. My dream had come true. But at the end of the day, I felt, I felt something wrong. But I could not figure out what I missed during my trip. After days of construction and rain, I jumped up a, a jump up a couch which towered Oxford in a sunny day with no map and no guidebook. Why? Because the, uh, honestly, my only impression about Oxford was the dictionary. <laughs> so, so boring, just like the introduction about Oxford in my guidebook. So I decided just take an adventure. And without a previous understanding about Oxford, I got lost in the campus, actually. And I met a strange guy who kissed, kept annoying me. Yeah, so sad. But at the same time, I Read that, uh, I found a re real stu student life of Oxford. Look, it's a real dining room. You can smell the food they just finished. And I even still, um, I even still see step into the teaching area and pretending that I was one of them. Yeah. And when I walk around in the ancient stone building, I suddenly understand that. It's hard to describe the atmosphere of this splendid, honey-colored city in a guidebook. And uh, during my trip, um, I entered a small college and visited chapel. The chapel, uh, the small small chapel, was so quiet that everyone walked very slowly. And after appreciate the. I did appreciate the decoration of the chapel. When I was walking out, I heard a voice from the chapel altar.
sit down and listen to the wonderful melody. I have been visiting a lot of spectacular chapels in London, such as Westminster Abbey, Westminster, and Saint Paul's Cathedral, Shenbao Da Jiao Te. But I never had a chance to hear a holy hymn on the spot. He was not as perfect as Andrew Bocelli, but it exactly matched with the small chapel. His sound, his voice sounds like the angel from the heaven, and made my eyes brimming with tears. Suddenly, I understand that understood that what I missed. In my uh, in Cambridge, but I found it in Oxford. That is the joy of creating my own tree. If I only follow the guidebook and reach every city spot, I was duplicating others' journey. If no matter how many pictures I took, I was a tourist. A Finnish a sightseeing route. Only forget the famous spot that I can. Uh, and or just walk around in the campus and enjoy the the wind from the breeze of the city. I can treasure the impression of beautiful scenery in my mind forever. So be brave for our own uh, for our own journey. Uh, if I never walk without a guidebook, I will not went into the small chapel and meet an angel. Take a risk, a uh, uh, failure, and get um, getting lost. Yeah, and but you can get a chance to meet something very unexpected that may touch your heart. So enjoy every moment of travel, traveling, and maybe an angel has been waiting, waiting for you, and an uh, uh, angel has. Uh, have been coming around you and waiting to be found. Toast natural meaning.